All right, guys, I thought this would be an interesting to, to, uh, thing to show you guys. You can see I got a little frost out here, way out there. But if you look like over here, I don't have any frost. If you look over here, no frost. And if you went over by my duck coop, you'd find a one spot with a little bit of frost, but most of everything else has no frost. But right here, we have frost. Well, maybe it was wet there and not anywhere else. No, no, everything's nice and humid right now. It's spring. What's going on? Well, what if I told you, what if I told you the temperature is currently 40 degrees? And then when I got out of bed this morning and it was still dark outside, the temperature was 38 degrees. And that was the overnight low. Water freezes at 32 degrees. Well, it must be the cold air sinks. A little bit, but then why is it not frozen right there? What's going on? How does the temperature go up two degrees? Because that's the thing, when I came out here at 38 degrees, there was no frost. Temperature goes up two degrees. There's frost on the grass. They should teach you this shit in third grade science, but I don't think they do anymore, so it falls to people like me to do it. What happens when you sweat? And the sweat begins to evaporate off your body. What does your body feel? It feels cool. How do we cool a house in a, in a dry climate instead of using expensive air conditioners? We use an evaporative cooler. As the temperature began to slowly rise and the moisture on this grass began to lift off of it, the temperature dropped sufficiently from the evaporation to cause a mild frosting on the surface of the grass. This is something when you're planting early in spring, even though the weather guesser says it will not get below 36 degrees, you do have to be aware of. It's not usually something that damages plants a great deal because it usually only occurs on the surface, doesn't actually damage them heavily, but you can get some frost hit, burn, and things like that from it. So it's just something to be aware of that it can happen. You can have a day where it gets nowhere near freezing, and yet you get lots of ice, and it's specifically in certain areas, like this area. What's unique about this area? Well, I mowed it yesterday. That made lower grass. It magnified the evaporation. The other thing is, this area gets some of the first light on the property. Over there is all under shade. Back there is under shade. Uh, that's got some shade from the house and what all, but it's basically what it is. Short grass, fast evaporation, uh, evaporative cooling for the wind. All it needed to do was drop the temperature, you know, six to eight degrees and ba-bam, you got instant frost.